welcome to 5 Minutes of Mime, the longest running podcast dedicated to the performance art of mime. I'm your host, S.C. Angerman. 5 Minutes of Mime, the longest running podcast dedicated to the performance art of mime, is eligible to be nominated for the People's Choice Podcast Awards in the category of Arts. Voting is open at podcastawards.com until 31 July 2018. We appreciate your support in helping us in our mission of providing forever homes for these poor mimes. These poor, homeless, friendless, voiceless, talentless, charmless, unemployable mimes. So please vote at podcastawards.com. Objects, which may seem the same in their origin, will often travel much divergent paths. Like the smoke rising from a cigarette when wisps rising together from the ash twist and turn, unpredictably. That they come from the same point tells us nothing of the relation in their positions in even a minute from now. Famed mime, instructor, and Frenchman Jacques Lecoq captured the spirit of a chaotic universe in an exercise building on a piece of paper. In this exercise, the instructor drops from extended hands a piece of paper, while the class observes and absorbs the unpredictable path the paper follows to the ground. The students then interpret the paper's motion, slicing through the air, rocking to and fro against the unseen breeze before sliding to a stop on the floor. In performing this exercise, students must relieve themselves of expectation. There is no way to predict from one lesson to the next how the paper will fall, as even slight changes in the instructor's grasp or movement of the air can have great effect on the paper's trajectory. This unpredictability, this chaos, is central not only to the movement of performance arts, but also to the many branches of science and mathematics dealing with probabilities, not certainties. Erwin Schrödinger was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1933 for his work in quantum theory. Schrodinger's equation describes the probability of finding a particle in a particular place at a particular time. For most objects we encounter, the range of solutions to this equation are relatively small, roughly equal to the position of the object. But for objects that are very, very small, such as an electron or the personality of a mime, the range of possible positions can be larger than the object itself. And so, for tonight's performance... Schrodinger's Mime Thanks to all our guests on tonight's show. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at 5minutesofmime.com. Join the conversation on our Facebook listeners page, the 5 Minutes of Mime Quiet Storm, and on Twitter at 5 Minutes of Mime. And please vote for us in the People's Choice Podcast Awards in the category of Arts at podcastawards.com. Nominations are open until 31 July 2018. From the 5 Minutes of Mime team and myself, S.E. Angerman, we'll see you later, unless we see you first. Until next, Mime, good night.